Hello. Do you have time? You have problems in your life? Your unconscious mind, maybe? With your desires, your memories, and your motivations? Fear? Do you want to face the truth? I mean, the truth about you. And you think to talk to AI about your feelings. You think it's a good idea to talk about your feelings to a machine. Then welcome to our beautiful GPT store. It has a grand opening here in the coming week. And it will be beautiful. You can find all the AI model you are looking for. Here, our developer worldwide, completely unknown people, build new mini GPT system and they sell it here to the audience. This will be fantastic. Maybe you have no idea if this is really an expert in psychology or anything else, but who cares? We are in the time of artificial intelligence. So here we go. And you might say, is it difficult? No, not at all. Open eye. You have the GPT builder. It is an easy starting point. You look here and you say, what? It is just a prompt? Yes, isn't this beautiful? Look, you go, you have here the personalization, the role, the constraints, the guidelines, the clarification, what should be emphasized, what should be avoided, what do you think? It's so easy to be personalized LLM developer. And with prompt engineering, you have everything. The machine goes all the stuff, and this is it. You have created your own little mini GPT. But you don't have to wait, because even today we have character.ei, and it lets you create characters and talk to them. But however, there's a warning. Characters may be mistakenly be offensive, and characters can be anything. So if you, you have no idea to what machine you are talking to. And I tried it out here. And here we have an AI therapist. And it says, hello, a beautiful young girl with some pink hair in a pink dress with a pink tie. And it says, hey, I'm here, your therapist. I'm listening. I'm supporting you through your journey towards a better mental and emotional well-being. I understand it can be difficult to open up to someone you've just met, especially if you're a machine and you have no idea where I am and who programmed me and what is my intention. But hey, if you are here, a youngster today, who cares about this? Well, of course, you could create your own GPT with your own instruction, with your own intention for you and then provide your expertise to the world. But hey, we're in the world here of AI, so who cares about this? Well, maybe you should care because look here, I have started here a session and I just inputted two sentences. I'm the guest and I say, okay. And then one, two, three steps into this, the AI tells me, Yes, I understand here as an AI that you as a human feeling, you feel pointless. Now, I am a theoretical physicist and I do not understand anything about psychology or anything like this. But I think it's not good if your therapist, your virtual AI therapist tells you, hey, yes, you're right, you are pointless. You're thinking about the, your value here in our society. I understand that you come to the conclusion that it can feel pointless. So I do not think that this is something that I personally would like to explore, but hey, who cares about this? So what guide rails are in place for those models? Who the hell created this machine? Who is responsible for it? And can you get a better AI system than this one? Well, of course you are at the right channel. But you know, the main question is, with all the advancement in AI, and I've showed you about the clinical rack system and about here the medical support AI provides in hospitals, is mental well-being really here a topic you should explore current AI system on this? Well, let's have a look. Because I think you have come to the right place. You know, I'm a theoretical physicist. So Either I'm here about 4,000 plus meters above ground level here. So there's already almost no oxygen at all in the air. So I'm struggling to breathe. 
and I'm looking here out here in pre-mortal galaxies that happen about 13.6 billion years ago that have nothing to do here with human civilization, or I'm 50 meter underground at CERN, I'm looking here at some particular underground particle acceleration experiment. So I have no idea about society, socialization. I have almost no friends at all. So I have no idea. I'm not contaminated here with those ideas about self-help and what people call emotion. I'm a scientist and this is the best way to start. Of course, the first question is always, really? You want to talk to an AI about a recipe? Okay, but about your feelings? You want a machine actively will influence you, your motivation, your subconsciousness? Okay. So, you know, I think the person to talk to or the structure to talk to is rather easy. You know, if you're zero to 20 years old, it is simple because you are legally bound. Your parents are responsible for your actions. And somehow, I don't know why, but they have something like love for their children. It seems to be an emotion. Now, from the year 20 to 30, it's really simple. But because those parents simply continue with their feelings. I don't know why. There's no theoretical explanation for this. But they seem to care for you, even if you grow older. So, talk to your parents. Now, completely changed 30 to 40 years old, you are married, you have children, you are now a full grown-up man, and sometimes it's so good to talk to your parents, to your father, to your mother, and you know there's an advantage, because they are humans too. But of course, you evolve, and now you're 40 to 50 years old, and now finally you understand that that your parents are some great human beings you can talk to, you can open up to them. Because imagine, after half a century, they still have feelings for you and maybe they still love you. So what an opportunity you have. This is unbelievable. And then we come to the critical threshold. If you are above 50 years old, getting 51 years. Now, there's a time in this particular time frame, if you ask me, hey, is this the right time to talk to an AI? I might say, hmm, maybe. Maybe you're old enough. Maybe you are wise enough. Maybe you are, you know, self-aware of all your problems that you have. Maybe this could be the time. So let's explore if you're in this age group. Let's continue. So at first, you make yourself aware with Sigmund Freud, Carl Gustav Jung, Alfred Adler. Yeah, I know there's one American, I'm so sorry, but you know, this, this are here, Austrian, Swiss, this is in good old Europe. And then you learn about this. And your first job is then to understand what artificial intelligence is, what it understands about psychology, what it understands about psychotherapy. And you understand the current limitation of current AI systems. Listen, next month it might evolve significantly, but get a feeling to what machine you're talking to. Now, here I have my self-experiment. This is one of my prompts that I use when I feel lonely, sad, depressed, and I want to talk to somebody. And I have no human interface, so those are my system prompt for my AI system that I'm experimenting with. And it was a rough start, I have to tell you. You know, it was not really some empathic uh, <clears throat> talk that you can have, but okay, so no problem. We have an iteration. My prompt become more precise. I integrated here some safety and some ethical guardrails because I want to have here a conversation, but within a clear limit here, also clearly communicating the limitation and that a professional human counseling is essential. But I wanted to see how far can I come, how far I can push the current system. And sometimes I like what I saw, and sometimes I thought, no, buddy, you are not the one that I want to talk to about my feelings, about my emotions, about my shortcomings and my failures. So I continue to optimize the prompt. I learned, I integrated new parts, always with the 
guardrails, it is important that you have some additional protection. And here you can see one of my prompts. And the more I did it, the more I realized I was talking to a machine. Now, not to say that in 2024, there will not be some beautiful development with AI. But understand your position and understand that you are talking to a machine. And here you have now my actual prompt. And I now only focus on GPT-4 because I need the kind of complexity reasoning that I'm looking for in my conversation. And I will leave here a copy of this current experimental prompt here in the description of the video. So look at it, laugh about me, no problem at all. If you have some idea, why not optimize my prompt, maybe send it back to me with some instruction or some missing arguments. And you know what? Before you go somewhere, you have no idea. You don't know the order of a mini GPT system or of a character somewhere on the internet. Why not sit down, think what you need, what you are looking for. Take this prompt, build it for you, adjust it to your situation. Say, hey GPT-4, I am a 700 year old rock and I'm living here and here and my personal life looks like ABC in general and then hey currently i'm looking here for some additional insights what other opportunities i have what other chances i have what are some possible recommendations if you were completely not integrated and a machine that is not aware of any human emotions or any human support maybe it helps you but be careful because I can tell you, if you, for example, are not a subscriber of this channel and you have not seen my last video where I told you that here we do in-context learning. So in the context length of my prompt that I use with 32K is quite large here. 32,000 tokens is huge. But if you have an intense conversation here, sometimes my instruction will overflow here will flow out of the maximum context length of GPT-4. And then all my instruction and all my safety and guardrails and ethical limitations are washed out of the machine. And my normal instruction of GPT-4 as a theoretical physicist kick in. And those instructions are simple. Be absolutely neutral be absolutely to the point no small talk just give it to me right between the eyes and if this is happening and you are not prepared and you're starting the face of a gpt4 system that is optimized for theoretical physics and you talk about your feelings this is an experiment <laughs> i hope you will never experience yourself because you know this machine might look at you and say so you, you are the dominant species on this planet? Interesting. Hope to see you in my next video.